Hi guys, how are you all doing? Uh, in this video today, I'm going to be talking about installing Visual Studio Code and setting it up to do Flutter development. So let's get started. So I install VS Code by downloading the dev package from the website code.visualstudio.com. So I will download it from here. So there you go, my download is finished and I just simply need to click on it and that will initiate the install. Now it does say an older version is available in the software channel but I just prefer downloading it from the website because that provides me the latest version. Now just installing it now and there we have it installed now. So I'll just search and open it and I'll just pin it to the panel as well. So the next thing I will uh, start looking at is installing the extensions. So in the extensions, you should go in and install the Dart and the Flutter plugin if you haven't already got that. So that will get you started with doing Flutter development. So moving on, the next thing after installing the tools, um, I would actually go in and open my terminal window and run the command flutter doctor and this will go in and check that all my flutter um, environment is set up correctly so as you can see I have the flutter SDK installed I have the Android studio installed I have the VS code installed now it says that the Android license is, is not accepted so and it also says how to resolve it so all I'm gonna do is just run flutter doctor and pass the Android licenses uh, flag and I just need to accept these licenses and there you go so if I now run Flutter Doctor again it will just give me an updated status and now as you can see everything is now set up correctly so SDK is installed Toolchain is installed, Studio is installed, and VS Code is installed. If you haven't already gone through my previous videos, uh, I suggest you go and see the previous videos that I have uploaded in the Flutter series, uh, which talk about installing the Flutter SDK and installing Android Studio. And that actually completes your Flutter development setup. So in the next video, I'll be talking about uh, creating a sample project and setting up VS Code for doing uh, debugging on my Flutter app. So that's all I wanted to cover in this video and uh, see you next time.